We are the new homeowners of a Neo Breton styled house. My name is Christina and I'm also creative director of my own interior design firm. We decided to do a video series documenting the renovation process of our French property. God, this has been such a wild dream to move to France. Bienvenue chez nous and welcome to our home. Good morning. So I'm gonna be giving a house tour today. I'm gonna to actually start in the back because we have beautiful sun that comes in the back and the front faces west. Uh, so just to kind of show you guys, I'm gonna start in the backyard. Okay, so this is the <laughs> famous picture that I'm constantly posting about. Um, it's our beautiful backyard. So this is where we can basically look back and see and have breakfast. This is the outdated house. Uh, this is gonna have to be completely redone, as you can see. Um, let me just step down to a bigger view. Okay, so that's the veranda, and um, we're gonna paint the exterior uh, and include the veranda into the house so we can um, use it year round. This is gonna be my office here, uh, but right now we're using it as our bedroom because the whole upstairs is going to be redone down to the studs um, because it is non-livable. Um, Oh, and this is the only access to upstairs right now. It's the um, exterior stairs. That's the only uh, access to going upstairs. This is why uh, we are um, designing and creating a, a stair uh, case to go interior, and I'll show you that later. Okay, so this is going into our bedroom. And again, it's just going to be a cute office in the future, but it's doing its work now. And this is the veranda. So yes, so much sunlight, um, obviously, and we get to see when it's foggy outside in the morning. Um, right now we are making this, as you can see, our dining room. And we are going to um, take the ceiling off to lift it up. We have and change the Velux here because we have that much that we can kind of eat up some of it to lift the ceiling um, just to make it a little bit more grand because right now it feels the ceiling feels very low. Um, and we're gonna change all of the windows because these are like literally all windows. That's gonna be changed later, but at least we're gonna seal in um, the boards on the sides and everything else uh, just to use it year round because it does get chilly in here. Um, so I can imagine um, in winter. Going into the kitchen, we have two accesses out to the veranda uh, because before this used to be a room and they took that out before we bought it, which is perfect. Um, and here is our outdated kitchen, very country vibe. Um, just embracing it right now. Uh, what we're gonna do is obviously update everything. Um, I'm gonna have no upper cabinetries though, add some stone. I'm gonna keep the layout, even with the peninsula here. Uh, do just kind of this, not kind of, I'm gonna do a tower uh, with the peninsula, do a 36 inch range here. I'm gonna keep the sink and the dishwasher where it's at. This island actually I had a custom made in Lyon um, because we had no table and this actually serves as um, an island as well. Okay, and now to give you guys the view from the other side. Okay, so this is the other wall and future is we wanna actually open this all up, obviously, um, so we can have the, the veranda included into the house and be um, obviously more light um, and it's a bigger open space. Uh, so on this wall, I kind of, I just left everything how I would put the cabinetries, but we're going to have a uh, cabinetry uh, for the refrigerator. So it's going to be all closed up, but uh, obviously refrigerator, wine fridge, and then this is going to be for our pantry. And behind it, if you can't really see it behind the door, um, but we're going to make this kind of like the bar area. I want to do something custom and nice there. I'll, I'll show you the drawings that I'm going to do, but this is going to be uh, shelves going up for the glass wine glasses and closed cabinetry on the bottom. Oh my gosh, and I haven't even spoken about these beautiful beams that we have uh, in our house. 
uh, that go into the living room because that's the living room on the back side of that beautiful fireplace uh, actually going to paint that um, see if I can sand that down uh, but yeah beautiful things I'm keeping these I might paint them white I might see about sanding them down stay tuned for that I'm still figuring out some little bit of detail um, on some things uh, but I hope you enjoy this I'm gonna do the front of the house with the living room uh, and the foyer uh, after okay cheers